Well, when I was eight years old, I had a dream and I'm living in an old army barracks. I was raised in an army barracks. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm a warrior. Mm -hmm. I guess I was raised in an army barracks and, um, it was a army barracks turned into a house set out in the woods, no running water. Uh, I'm laying there one morning and I dream I'm in New Mexico. And I'm sure that's why I thought about it because I'd been in New Mexico. Now, whether I had ever seen this place, I don't know, but I dreamed I was in New Mexico at eight. Okay. Dreamt. That's the proper word, isn't it? Good okay. Enough. So, so, but here it's dreamed. So I dreamed exactly. I was in a, and in my dream, I crawled up in a mountain and shoved a rock out of a mountain. And when I did this, as I crawled up in this hole where I shoved this rock out and the snow starts falling. Well, my grandmother woke me up in that old barracks and said, you can't go to school today because it's snowing. Well, I thought that was the prophetic because I've been seeing prophecy since I was uh -huh. two. Right. And so, well, I go to New Mexico, make a covenant with a Navajo nation. So they invite me to come to their gathering of tribal nations and 90 plus 87 to 90 plus nations registered there. So they're from everywhere. Even the Cree came down from Canada. This is huge. It's huge. I don't know if there's ever been a bigger gathering of tribal nations. And so I'm sitting there, I'm standing there under the tent. Okay. That they give me my Navajo name there that night. And my, I, I don't, I, I'm not sure Navajo is, is a, not a written language. It's a, that's why the code talkers could use it in world uh -huh. war two, mm -hmm. but it's a Hafne, Haf, Hafne Oini. And I didn't, I didn't say the first right, but it means Eagle seer. Eagle oh. seer. Oh. Really? And so, yeah. So they named me Eagle seer in my covenant with them. And I could weep because they're, it's so precious and they're, they're just so precious. And anyway, and so I had a seal, you know, my Eagle staff that I carried so yeah. long, mm -hmm. it has a United States seal on it, but then it had the Navajo seal. I put on it that on the way there. So we went to the crow, we went to the Choctaw. And it was like God pulled two ends of a quilt and pulled all the nations together and the Navajo uh, capital. Well, their capital is Window Rock. If your producer could find a picture of Window Rock, Arizona, okay. you will be amazed at what you're going to see. And when you look at it, there's a statue of a code talker the world war two soldier uh -huh. and up behind him is a mountain with a giant hole cut in it. Like a rock was shoved out. Oh, of it. whoa. And this is what they told me. They said the Navajo elders and all used to come here to this place because they believed that was a portal where through the, there it is. Oh. <laughs> it come through. And they could hear, they could hear God commune with, you know, however they did that, with whatever spirit, Man. but they <laughs> believed that was the portal. Now that's what I must have seen at eight, at eight years <laughs> old and went back 52 years later to that spot. Now, now get this. So I'm, well, I'm not finished yet. I hope everybody's listening to how strong this all is. See, See the code talker. Oh, yeah. Yes. And uh, I was standing right there the other day. I wish I had some pictures to have sent you guys. If I knew it, I would have. Yeah. And you could have seen me with some of the elders standing there and uh, right in front of that statue. Beautiful. But anyway, um, we were at, we had to go over into New Mexico, uh, Gallup to eat, and then right back across the line about 20 minutes to stay at Window Rock. I wanted to stay at Window Rock. I didn't want to stay off the grounds. I wanted to stay out the reservation. Mm -hmm. And um, so we were at Cracker Barrel. And I walk outside on the sidewalk, and my granddaughter 
Maddie that sings with us. I have two Maddies. You know, I have a daughter in love, Maddie, and I have a granddaughter, Maddie. We're the we're the family wow. of the oh. Yeah, we have Robin and Robin and Maddie and Maddie and <laughs> and uh so and then we have and actually John is John Robin, so we have Robin, 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 Robin. and Matt, Maddie <laughs> and and our son in law's Robbie. And uh, my brother's Danny, Robin's brother's Danny. Her dad is Dan. My stepdad was Dan Danny, and my brother's <laughs> Dan. And so we have uh, all these, you know. Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a name cool. so nice, you got to say it twice. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, well, we we have the double. There you go. So anyway, anyway, um, I'm standing out there, and I look up in the sky, and our security. Uh, man was with us that travels with us and or was traveling with us and my granddaughter maddie and i'm looking up and uh i said do y'all see that and there was a dragon in the sky huge his head was huge and uh look at that it, now there we are yeah and I, I could i could weep looking at that and uh the man on the right is an apostle Okay. The man standing next to me is Pastor Jerry Tom. He he knows he wasn't a code talker because I think the last one is already gone. Wow. But he can talk the code. It's did, did they give you that uh, that necklace? The, oh, the thing you see me wearing. Uh, they gave us gifts. They just pile. Uh, the native people are the givingest people you've ever mm -hmm. met. They call it pr protocol. It's protocol. Mm -hmm. And they, uh, the Cherokee gave us gifts, the Choctaw, the, all the tribes were giving gifts. And the Navajo, that necklace I'm wearing, the blue one, is all turquoise. The whole thing is turquoise. It's heavy. And wow. up, under it, up under it, you can see, if you could see it close, in the middle of it is my crow uh medallion that's okay, my yep. that's my crow family underneath it the big round one underneath it is the choctaw and um and the belt is navajo that's a real navajo belt you'll see that they would wear around there and they brought it to me as a gift and and um i can't talk about it much anymore it'll get what to a special you. moment that is very it's, Special. Well, uh, what I love is everything you're talking about in the natural has a spiritual connotation. It's rooted in in the unseen, yes. and you're wearing it in the scene. There's a almost a, a you know a, there, there's there's times you're in these like Adam in the garden kind of moments where it's mm -hmm. it's 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 natural and supernatural at the same time. There's there's so much represented in this. Yes, and you're looking at some of the most special people on the earth when you look at the native tribes. Oh. And and then of course I'm wearing my Star of David, my Megan David, yep. above everything. And then I've got my cat Kerr mantle on that she gave me. <laughs> yeah, we were there when you got that. We saw that in Omaha. We saw that in oh, Omaha. Yeah, praise God. Yes. And, and then I've carried my eagle staff. Now, if you could see it turned around, you'd see the Navajo seal on it too. But but this is what I wanted to tell you about that. I looked up and there's this dragon in the sky. Now this is a head of a dragon. And I, I said, do y'all see that? Maddie said, I do. And the security man said, absolutely see it. And his body was up behind him, huge. It wasn't just a cloud formation. Now watch this. I said, look at that dragon. And then I mentioned Jesus name. And when I did in front of both of them standing there, the thing was profiled like this as a profile head, it turned its head around just like this with both eyes then were shining. His nose, everything looking straight at us. <laughs> it heard me. The thing heard me. And so uh, the Lord talked to me when he looked around, when it turned its head, if you could have seen it, it looked like a movie, the way it turned. It just moved through dimensions of time like, and it just looked at me. And it was looking at us standing there. It was it was there at that meeting. And so I didn't say anything right then. I said, did you see that? And both of them, absolutely we see it. And the Lord told me, he said, now that's the spirit 
that has held the tribal nations down all these years. That's him. Tomorrow night, he said, drag him down. <laughs> drag him down. Well, I didn't say anything to anybody. But the next night, I was playing. You know how I'll play prophetically. Oh, yeah. Then suddenly, I just told the Lord, I said, I couldn't get a, a breakthrough I wanted. I said, Lord, I played every sound I know. He said, then stop and let me play. <laughs> and I just, I just turned my pedals on, turn my guitar up. Everything's quiet. I just take my hands off of it. And all of a sudden the Lord starts playing the guitar. You can find it all over online, man. It's went everywhere because these sounds start playing and the harmony starts playing and it'll travel up the scale, come back down the scale. And you can hear voices talking. You can hear all kinds of sounds. People rushed the front, fell on their knees. Oh, they, man. they were <laughs> repenting. They were, it was, it was, and I'm just standing there and I'll do my hands like this on purpose. So you can see the camera went to my feet. So you show I'm not touching anything. I put my hands behind my back. The whole band quit playing and God played. He just played. <laughs> and when it was amazing. over, now something had to be playing my strings yeah. to make those sounds. But see, the Hebrews taught that David would hang his harp on the wall and the wind of the spirit would come through and play his harp at night. Well, that's what was happening. Well, we drug that thing down when we did. Come on. I got a report the other day that the hardest rains, they've never seen rain like that in the Navajo Nation. That thing hit the ground. The last time I drug, we drug something like that down was in New York yep. when that terrible storm hit. Yeah, when you barely day. got out. I remember that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so this thing hit. Now, the tribal nations at that moment are free. They don't realize that a lot of them yet, but they went free. And there, my friends is where the Eagle landed. That's where he landed that night. And after that night, when the Eagle landed, they named me Eagle seer that night. Now they don't know any of this. It's just all unfolding yeah. right in front of everybody. And so the Eagle landed, God had to set the tribal nations had to correct, had to go to them first before he corrected everything else in the nation. And so now this is happening. Okay. I, uh, the Lord had told me, said the time of the lion will begin. When they raided mar lago they triggered Isaiah 63 verses one through six. And hear the word of the Lord. The Lord said this, they now, have him to contend with because now the time of Isaiah 63 verse one through six is, is happening. Who is this that cometh from Edom with dyed garments from Bozrah? This is this, that is glorious in his apparel traveling in the greatness of his strength. I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save the Lord says, Wherefore art thou red in thine apparel, Isaiah asked, and thy garments like him that treadeth the wine fat? And he said, I have trodden the winepress alone, and of the people there was none with me, for I will tread them in mine anger, and trample them in my fury, and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments, and I will stain all my raiment for the day of vengeance. That's the day they hit mar -Lago. They triggered the day of vengeance is in mine heart and this year is the year of my redeemed is come. And I looked and there was none to help. And I wondered that there was none to uphold. Therefore mine own arm brought salvation unto me and my fury, it upheld me. And I will tread down the people in mine anger and make them drunk in my fury. And I will bring down their strength to the earth. Wow. Yes. And if you'll notice, it was a prophet and God talking <laughs> together. It was between him and his prophets. My God, this thing is getting bigger as we're sitting here talking about <laughs> yes. it. Yes. 
<laughs> wow. And get this. When the eagle landed, I knew it was time. You know how hard it was for me to hang my eagle staff on the on its hanger? <laughs> because the eagle has landed. Yep. And now the time of the lion has begun. The time of the lion has begun. And a new guitar. I had to see, see the lion. It's beautiful. The time of the lion has begun. And the nation's seal, it has started now. And so my guitar that I've carried so long that I use in war so much, the Lord had a company. Uh, he put me in touch with and they built a new guitar. Now I play. And it it's the name of the guitar is Judah. And on the <laughs> carved into the wood is the lion raising its head roaring. And it says Judah under the bottom with the Megan David on the middle. And this now, my friends, the time of the lion has started. Amen. Thank you. They need to beware that their garments, their blood is not the, what he stains his garment with when he comes through. Because coming, he will. Hallelujah. People say, well, we've lost it all. They've weaponized 87,000 IRS agents or however many it is. Mm -hmm. The, the three-letter law enforcement people are been weaponized against all of us. And, if we, and we're definitely, uh, it's like they're saying we're going to lose. It's over. It's over. But the Lord said, no. open three people i saw it in the spirit this morning when i don't know where i don't know but i know it's going to be hallelujah, hallelujah. thank y'all for having me on wow i'm just